Today we are going to learn about the Grover's algorithm. Grover's algorithm is a search algorithm searching through a list of items for a specific item that satisfies a given query. It is a process of increasing the probability of observing the item being searched. The basic steps of Grover's algorithm are number one, making superposition, number two, marking of the data you want to find, and number three is amplitude amplification. We do these steps in the following manner. First is superposition, then marking, which is followed by the amplitude amplification, then again marking, which is again followed by the amplitude amplification, and so on. By iterating step 2 and step 3, you can get better answer. Here there are two keywords for Grover's algorithm. So the states of the system will be 00, 01, 10 and 11. To do the marking, a diagonal matrix is prepared where one element is minus 1 and others are 1. Let's see on BlueCat in Google Colab. Before that, we shall be doing the coding in the Google Colab. First, we need to install BlueCat. In order to do that, type in exclamation mark pip install BlueCat in Google Colab. Now, let's do it in the Google Colab. Type in exclamation mark pip install BlueCat. Run this. You can see that the blue cat gets installed. Now we'll be able to see the circuit one by one. We can check the unitary matrix of the circuit by running run with simpy unitary. It usually starts from the diagonal matrix of the CZ gate first. The marking is on 1 1. When we run this on Google Colab, we'll get this output. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Now the marking is on 0, 01. When we run this on Google Colab, we'll get this output. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. The following marking is on 10. When we run this on Google Colab, we'll get this output. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Lastly, the marking is on 00. zero. When we run this on Google Colab, we'll get this output. However, the result is inversed on the sign. It has flipped all the minus sign to plus and plus sign to minus. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Now we are going to do amplitude amplification. It is a circuit which is minus 1 on diagonal and plus 1 on off diagonal and as a result we can get the marked state vector. The amplitude amplification circuit on 2 qubits is like this. When we run this on Google Colab, we'll get this output. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Similarly, we'll apply HGate to 01 circuit and the output will be like this. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Similarly, we'll apply HGate to 01 circuit and the output will be like this. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Next, we'll apply HGate to 10 circuit and the output will be like this. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Next, we'll apply HGate to 10 circuit and the output will be like this. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. Finally, we'll apply HGate to 1 1 circuit and the output will be like this. Let's try it in Google Colab. Run this. We can see that we get this output. If we see all the result, then we can see that we have succeeded to get the result. This is a simple example for Grover's algorithm. Thank you for watching this video and for your time.